Today we are on board on the 34 meter Cruel Curanta, which is a hybrid between a super yacht and a power catamaran built by a visionary owner in 2013. So, what's unique about it? There are six cabins for 12 guests, all on the main deck, with the unique concept of connecting doors. She is certified as a commercial vessel with unrestricted navigation. She has a large volume of almost 300 gross tonnage and a beam of 9 meters. There is a fully submergible beach platform with the potential to carry up to 5.5 meter tender and Krivel Courant has been honored with eight awards for her engineering, quality and design. This power catamaran is ideal for three types of owners. You're a big family who want to explore Mediterranean from the comfort of your own mini cruise ship, or you're more the adventurous type and you want to go remote places with the security of a commercially certified vessel, or you're more into water sports and you want to pack her full with water toys and enjoy time on board with your best friends. Grel Curanta is a manifestation of an ambitious project of naval architects, engineers and designers from the United Kingdom, Australia and Netherlands. She was built in Logos Marine in Turkey under supervision of Naval Architects Bureau Imkat Crowther from Sydney. Lila Lu, the UK-based designer, created the exterior and interior design. High Modulus, a UK company, was responsible for composite works and marine engineering company Van Capellen from Holland make sure that the yacht is built to commercial class rules and is MCA LW2 compliant for unrestricted navigation. Starting our tour from the aft, we access the boat by this sturdy passerelle and what you see immediately is this hydraulic swim platform that carries five and a half meter tender. Once at anchor, the tender is launched and the platform becomes a beach club, which submerges under the water and is well protected from the wind and waves being in between the two hulls. Kirvel Curanta has a beam of nine meters, which allows 50% more space than on a similar size super yachts, but it's still narrower than a power catamaran's, which allows her to fit in more ports. Going forward, there are two doors on each side that give access to the engine rooms in both hulls. And over here, there is an access to this swim uh, platform. When she's submerged in the water, this ladder over here is installed, so you can safely go down to the beach club and enjoy the sip of uh, your favorite cocktail while standing like uh, in the water. Over here, there is another door that leads to the engine room. And on the port side, there is a shower that you can use after having a bath in the sea. Entering the living area on the main deck, you get access to the six cabins through the corridor, like on a mini cruise ship. On the starboard side over here, there is a conveniently placed day hat. And on the port side, there is a storage for the towels. One of the unique features of this yacht is how the six cabins have been arranged here on the main deck. They have been arranged in a way that adjacent cabins that share a wall can be connected with a sliding door, becoming a two-bedroom suite with two bathrooms. Of course, each cabin has its own bathroom with spacious shower, towel heater, and residential style sink, as well as a roomy wardrobe. And each cabin features this big panoramic window, which is almost three meters wide. Going forward, there is a central staircase that leads to the upper deck salon and dining area. From this part, the crew also access the crew quarters in both halls and the entrance can be closed with a sliding door. And from here, we access two VIP cabins. which also can be easily converted in one humongous master cabin with nine meter beam, with bathrooms for him and for her and with a hot tub in the middle. Each VIP cabin has two residential style wardrobes, which are quite roomy. Well, a big uh, panoramic window and uh, the furniture arrangement here 
was designed in a way that uh, each part of the bed is a modular part. So you can see this is not fixed double bed. There are two separate single beds that have been arranged in the one double bed. Here you have another sliding door, so you have two accesses to another VIP cabin, which allows to create a really big uh, full beam suite over here. And uh, here again, uh, you can use your imagination. It depends on what you need. You can create a different layout from these beds, make it a twin bed uh, cabin or uh, create like a lounge a corner sofa. So it's really a unique feature of Carvel Curanta that each cabin can have different configurations depending on what you need. Taking the central staircase from the main deck, we arrive at the upper deck. The unique design solution of Carvel Curanta was to accommodate the lounge area and the dining area here on the upper deck and this is the central of the social life on Crivel Curanta. The lounge area has this big comfy L-shaped sofa with a TV arrangement over here, two nice comfy puffs and this really nicely designed uh, lounge armchairs. On the port side there is a bar with a stone surface. It has the nice uh, fridge over here, quite big one. The commercial dishwasher and this cabinet over here hides a dumb waiter where the food is delivered is delivered straight from the galley to this deck. Going forward next to the bar we have this little table which can be uh, used in different ways. I can imagine myself having uh, coffee here or playing board games or even work during the day. And here the lounge area transitions into the dining space with a central modular table in the middle which can be adjusted in size to accommodate different number of guests. On the port side we have a pantry with additional storage for the crockery and a small wine fridge. And this pantry can be closed by these wooden panels over here. And on the starboard side, there are uh, cabinets with uh, made to measure glass holders and also drawers for the cutlery. Walking aft, we have enormous glass windows over here, and I especially like these curved glass corners. The door in the middle can be slid completely. So you can have this almost al fresco dining space. And the uh, upper deck aft lounge will quickly become one of your favorite places to gather before dinner. This round, uh, this round shaped sofa has a cold space for drinks on both of its sides. And sitting here on the comfortable sofa, it's really nice to overlook life in port while having a decent privacy. The wheelhouse on the upper deck offers a great visibility and that's a great workspace for an experienced captain. The helm station is equipped with all necessary equipment for the commercially certified vessel. And I would like to emphasize that Crivel Curanta has just passed 10 year Arena survey works and she is commercially certified with unrestricted navigation. Another point is that she is one of the very few power catamarans which is equipped with NIAD stabilization system. Now, here in the middle, there is a map table with storage underneath for the boat's documents and the nice captain's working desk on the back. There are two more features that I would like to mention. Is uh, this window between the wheelhouse and the saloon becomes milky at a touch of a button over here. And there is a nicely hidden upper deck uh, day head right here in the wheelhouse. Coming to the bow, we have these two secluded tables over here on a high-low support, so you can convert them into these two large sand pads. And the foredeck here 
is really flexible space that can be used in so many ways. There is a double anchor arrangement with hydraulic winches, the central mooring line, and there is a modular davit right here, which has fixing points in different locations of the boat and can be stored nicely in this very spacious utility compartment. And the crew has confirmed to us that the davit with a lifting capacity of 250 kg is very practical to use, so you can store a lot of water toys here on the foredeck. The sun deck on Corvel Coranta is really generous. In the front, there is a jacuzzi which is embedded between the ample sun bathing area on the starboard side, which is well protected from the wind, and the wet bar on the port side. And actually, when in jacuzzi, it's really convenient because you can have your favorite drinks served right from the bar. Speaking of the bar, it is really fully equipped. You have fridges over here, there is a grill, the ice maker, the dishwasher, and overall it's enough space for your favorite drinks. The down waiter arrives on the sun deck as well, so the crew can serve the food to the centrally located uh, table, which can accommodate up to 12 guests. It's modular table, so it can also be shrinked to its smaller version. And these side cupboards, I think they will be very practical to serve the buffet-style dinner on the sun deck. On the aft section, you have an open area with lots of flexibility to set it up as an additional sun bathing lounge or use it as a dance floor. So now let's check the technical spaces on the yacht, the crew area and the galley. The portside hull accommodates a twin cabin, a crew mess, and the galley, which is equipped with commercial-sized kitchen appliances. The starboard side hull has two more twin crew cabins, the laundry space in between, equipped with two Miele washers and two dryers, and the big wine cooler for 50 bottles. We are now in one of the two engine rooms on Corvel Curanta and behind me there is a main engine uh, Caterpillar C32 1900 horsepower with an uh, exhaust silencer on top. There is a hydraulic unit over here and the Onan uh, generator here with 50 kilowatts and of course this also replicates on another engine room so there are two engines and two generators. So here on the left side there is a glendening cable master in the middle, there is a hydraulic unit for the steering system and the show power converter on the right side. Having spent some time on board today shooting this video, I discovered the genius idea behind this project. If you're looking for a 35, 40 meter yacht with a typical five cabin layout with master cabin on the main deck, then I strongly suggest you to have a closer look at Curvel Curanta. I'm confident she will exceed your expectations because on the same footprint she offers much more versatility and I bet at this price point you won't find more value for money on the market today. She is located in the beautiful Porto Montenegro and I will be delighted to give you a personal tour. Thank you for watching the video and please don't hesitate to contact me if you're interested in this yacht. We speak yachting, let's talk.